Hi, it's Wendy from the library. I'm just going to show you some of the things you'll be getting in your marionette puppet kit to make your own unicorn marionette puppet or whatever you like. You don't have to put a horn on it. You can put ears on it and make it a cat, whatever you'd like. But I'm going to show you what you're going to get in your kit. Um, I'm going to turn my camera down here. And just let you see that you will be getting a paper tube whoops, that um, you can take this white paint and the paintbrush that you'll get and paint the whole tube and then let it dry because you want to make sure that it's dry and hard. And then after you do, you'll be cutting um, one third of it off and have the rest for the body and this for the head. So you'll see there are two pieces like that. So once it's dry, cut that off, and then you can start um, assembling. And I was left one of these partially apart. If you'll notice, this one has strings for legs, which makes it bounce a little bit more. And this one has wiggly wobbly pipe cleaners. So you'll get both enough string, or you could use the pipe cleaners. And this is a little easier to do pipe cleaners. But I wanted to show you um, with this one how to put the holes into the caps. Um, along with all those pipe cleaners for the legs, you get a short pipe cleaner that will be used for the neck, and you get a fancy fluffy pipe cleaner that could be used for a unicorn horn, or folded it over to make um, a nice fluffy tail. So um, that's what those are being used for. And inside this bag, let's see what we've got in here. You've got the stick to tie your strings to to hold it with. You have some colorful string, whoops, a daisy. Um, colorful string, and that could be used for the legs and for tying it onto the popsicle stick for your for holding the puppet. Um, there's enough in there. You'll get four bottle caps. And um, for making the holes in the bottle caps to tie the string or to push those pipe cleaners through, you take a little push pin, push it through the middle, wiggle it, and that's a really small hole. But then if you take a pointy pencil, or pen and push it in it makes it a little bit bigger can you see that um, just push as far however far when you think you need to be able to thread the string through the string like I said is a little harder um, so what I ended up doing is I would take the end of my string and put a little piece of Scott's tape on it so I could thread it through like a shoelace would be but if you find it's too difficult that's where these would come in really handy to make these your legs and they will shove through pretty easy. And that's the same technique that I use to make the holes in my paper tube. I need two on the bottom for each leg. Whoops, a daisy. Um, I need one on the top for the neck and then one on the bottom of this for the neck. I need one on the back for the tail and then I also need one for the string on the top of the head and on the back of the body so that you can hold your marionette up. Um, so that's I use those that little push pin method holding it carefully with my hand if you need help from an adult to do that ask for help and Then I could thread those pipe cleaners or the string through and so here's this guy um, I do feel that this is the easier one to make it um, Is a little bit less difficult But when you put those bottle caps on it and you make him bounce up and it almost sounds like he's clip plopping along um, And here You'll also have a couple Google Eyes in there, but this one looks like his eyes are closed. Or you can use your Google Eyes, and they'll be colored eyes, different different colors or in different sets. Um, there will be different pieces of foam if you want to decorate. Or what I would suggest even doing is coloring it with markers because you can make any design on your, on your animal that way. So um, I just want to show you what you've got in your kit. It does have a written instruction with it, so I hope you have a great time with it. Bye-bye.